Now, I just want to make the beginning of the video to show like the entrance. Okay, and I feel pretty good about it. Then, if we go ahead and edit and move to the next keyframe, you see that I'm here, but it doesn't look that good, so I'm going to go ahead and work back a bit. Okay. And put this right here. And this is the, the same way you just go ahead and adjust both the framing size and also the camera focus for the rest of your keyframes. Don't worry about the frames in between. They are basically not important. What you have, what you have, have to focus on are your keyframes because all the rest are going to blow up. So, next keyframe, where does it look? Sorry. Uh -huh. I don't know. Um, it almost, uh, the box is not going to show up. This is basically, imagine that this is your camera and how much you zoom in, how, how many things you saw. Basically, it's the lens. Imagine that it's the lens of your camera. So you have a wide angle lens. Uh, high angle lens and whatever. Okay, what if I should just set up on the face? You want to zoom it to the other side? Actually, you can zoom in or you can just zoom in. Uh, I can zoom in. Now, it's. This is your screen, so it's up to you if you want. You might have to do both, actually. So, just make sure that your screen is shows what you want to see. I am adjusting it both size and zooming wise. And, okay, this looks fine. And my last keyframe has indicated here, okay, I'm going to walk back a bit. And yeah, focus a bit on these cool stairs. Next. So, let me go back. To the beginning and show you another way to actually edit your frames. So you're here, right? This is your box, this is your first key frame. Apart from adjusting it manually, you can try, you guys can go up here and select such So what such does is that you have to keep me numbers. Field, field of view, and scale. What field of view basically means is like manually framing it like we did before with adjusting the blue dots. But here, if you want to be a bit more precise, having that blue question, if you want to be precise about the size of your frame, go ahead and say here, like I want it, uh, sorry, cut me, right, say, right, you see? Yes, that's it. The width. If you think this is narrow, go ahead, put it six, and so put it high. Right. But the scale plus is something like zooming. Um, but the problem will be more than that. Basically, that is that given the size of the window, it basically takes the data or paid in that window and either spreads it out or like sucks it in, like makes it smaller. So, uh, proportional, so you see here, we have proportions. Uh, if I show it, or I'm not, not. so let's. and say play and say 
have notes. So you see I'm moving slowly, steadily towards into the building. So as we are watching this very fun movie, um, let me uh, sum up that you set your path, you set your key points, and then go ahead and make sure that you have the right camera position, you have the right camera framing that satisfies your desires, and make sure that your camera targets to the right angle, to the right place, and so that everyone will be happy about it. You can see for some people this might be somehow uh, slow. Uh, we can adjust uh, the, the speed of the movie. We're going to do it a bit later. And just to catch up with questions, someone might ask, uh, can I render this? The answer is yes, but I really want you how long it is to, to, ray, to render like a static snapshot. Imagine if you if ray to render 300 frames. So, I guess. So what happens is, uh, how do we open doors for like, I don't know if you open doors, I mean, it's, 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 you go through the doors, it's, it's your design. Can you walk up here? Yes, we're gonna, that's going to be the last thing. Oh, okay. So, so let me, uh, okay, this is my first attempt. This is what I've accomplished so far, but you know, I, I don't want to with it. So, let's go ahead on the floor, man. Okay, all those things that I showed you so far are fine tuning tools, like how to do a stuff, camera, and whatever. But I still want to create, I don't know, I want to edit that. So, uh, just to again and be back with heart attack. If you click anywhere else, this thing disappears. So, oh, how am I going to bring it back? Or what happened? I deleted it or I'm stupid or whatever. So, what's the thing in this view? No, you're not stupid. It just happens. I, I did that the first time. And I went ahead without asking or searching about it. I just went ahead and made a second one. And then I had this Okay, 
let me fix this camera. Like, what are you doing? Like, here. Okay. This way, you can also extend your path or shorten it. Uh, it's a good way, let's say, if you don't want your path in here, but you want to spend it like somewhere here in the lab. So go ahead with the path control selected. Go ahead and drag the last keyframe to where you want it to be. And in between, go ahead and add keyframes. So, in order to have to focus it while I go and move towards this point, if you hover like closely to the path, like, come on, you'll see that it allows you to have keyframes to it, where you can take different camera angles and whatsoever. So, you can go ahead and do that to whichever point you guys like. And if you make a mistake, don't worry, right underneath is remove keyframes. So, we keep it doesn't make much sense, so I just hold around it and click on it and boom, it's disappeared. Okay, yeah, this looks like whatever. I don't know, I'm just going to make it work here. Okay. So, this is our path. Since we have selected it, we can also go ahead and edit its properties. So, we have the path selected. Go ahead, edit its properties. And we have this familiar window showing up. So, we have a lot of visit traffic, a lot of people here, but this is a point where you guys can edit and customize the speed of your walkthrough. So if you go all the way down to the other category, you can see that what the frames. Don't be fooled by the 300 here, just click on it, and this whole dialogue shows up. Okay. I mentioned before, when the default set the total number of frames to 300, you can put it up to 600 or whatever. What it's just going to do is it's just going to increase the total time of your movie and it's going to take longer to produce it. So we're just looking for a movie like between 20 and 30 seconds maximum. So if you put it that range, you're fine. Frames per second, that whole notion of the speed and acceleration. So you can put frames here, frames per second. It's, uh, it's kind of, from, from some people it might appear to be a bit slow, but it's kind of, it's still okay, it's not that slow. Uh, I think 15 is uh, the best median point, but if you want to make it faster, I don't know, like 16, 17. And as you can see, um, it changes the frames per second. Rapid recalculates. Come on, recalculate. No. Sorry, let me go back. So it recalculates the speed, which you, which is indicated here. So to explain a bit more is that. How it does this is based on the distance from start to end of your path. It calculates how much footage you're covering to move between every keyframe that you guys are setting. So it basically uniformly allocates the footage that needs to be covered from beginning to end. But let's say, okay, um, I don't want Uniform speed because you know some areas of my design are much cooler and more interesting than others, and some others are actually pretty difficult. So I uh, can say that's the time, but mm -hmm. you just perhaps you might want to steer the focus some some more cooler stuff in your design. So the way to do that is okay. 
I don't think it's right here, and I don't want to see this whole way, you know, there's nothing much to see. So I'm going to speed up, and I'm going to slow back down when I reach this nice glass wall with uh, cool stairs and whatever, and get some more attention there. So how do you do that? You unset the uniform speed. You can see here the number of your keyframes. And if you, go, if you remember, well, if you remember, it's your video, I mean, Go ahead and determine which part of the design is included between which keyframes and adjust the accelerator over here. So if it's one, it's going to move uniformly with the frame speed limit. Yes, you, uh, you, put, you put up here. But let's say, okay, my the thing between my second and third, my second and my first and second, keep playing is pretty well, so uh, I might want to like speed that up. I'm going to have a little number in five. And also my, between the third and fourth is pretty well as well, so I don't move easily for this stuff. But between my five and six per se, it's really nice, so I'm going to bring down the accelerator like to point six so that it slows down and allows more time for the viewer to actually get their grasp of that particular design. And you can also do that wherever you guys want. So that's how you adjust the speed of your walkthrough. You can also adjust the speed when you're exporting your walkthrough, which I'm gonna show in the very end. But by editing it, this is the way to do it. So click OK. And as you can see, I have it calculated the speed and basically the footage covered for, uh, between frame keyframes. So, OK. Always, always, always preview your walkthrough. So, OK, I made all these changes, but I literally am not getting you know, what I was looking, what's going on, and whatever. So, I could go ahead and put it down here, or, oh, come on, when you are here, uh, and you have it selected, let it walk through, but in this view it doesn't show up, so you're going to go back to the other view, go up and walk through. So, it brings you back to, basically, if you double click on this view over here in the project browser. Okay, uh, I'm going to go back and keep frame one. All right. So you see I have a bit of focus here. Uh, so let me look a bit more towards the center. Fine, next key frame. I want to work back a bit. Okay. Next key frame. Okay. Okay. And I want to look back my lobby. So let's go ahead and play that and see how it works. Go ahead, go back to build means. You don't have in order to play the walkthrough. You don't always have to go back to frame one. You can be at any frame and just hit play, and it will play that section. That's from that frame and on. But I want to see how it looks in total. See, uh, you can see how uh, I'm moving faster because I said 17 frames per second instead of 15. So, slow down. I told you to slow down. Come on. Okay, see, it slows down here. I apparently, this is not the point where I wanted it to focus, but you know, just to illustrate what you guys can do with it. Okay, it slow down between those keyframes. And we're going to pick it up towards the end. Come on. All right, here we go. And moving back. 
dua. Okay. See? Living verification of life value. Always preview your workflows. So, okay, this is basically that. Okay. Everyone got it? Good. So, to our last section, to what our friend asked in the back, how we can move up? So, okay, I still have, I have a good view of the graph here, but I want to move up to the second floor. I want to see how this course is. But, so, we're going to mess around with another very important aspect of the workflows, which is called the offset. So let's say, let's say I want to climb up the stairs and go back to the second floor. When you're moving up forward with both moves, it's always good to put underlay because you will be able to see where you're going. To put underlay in, in your view tab, go ahead and select new properties. Now, And right here, right under the cut, there's three options you have to delay. So, go ahead and pick, I'm going to pick level two floor. Right? I don't want to see my level two. Go ahead and press OK. And you see that some stuff like show up, like some batteries and whatever. All right. So, let me go ahead and put my workflow in. Again, you have to give you walkthrough. And I want to zoom in. When you creating a walkthrough, you see that there are some commands here. Did you level, uh, level two for the underlay, yes. Okay. So when you're creating a walkthrough, um, keep the perspective check. It's always good. And here it's the whole gist of the matter. Offset. Before the camera is up, it's uh, offset to 5.6 feet. It's from level 1. So this one here is the base where you measure your camera elevation. So let's say I want to go upstairs. Uh, I want to start here. And I'm going to move up again. Okay. At this point, uh, I want my camera to go up, like, I don't know, 6 feet. So now I'm going to go up six feet. Now I want to go up to eight feet. We're here. And you know, the stairs actually go up. So keep the keep I'm adjusting the offset to appropriately appropriate elevation. So here now it's going to go up to, I don't know, 14. And up to 16. I don't know, 19. And we're up. We're upstairs. So now I'm up to the second floor. Um, so I think I can go up. It's always harder to, to determine the elevation if you're keep measuring it up for one. So I'm going to go ahead and so read the second floor. I'm going to go ahead and change this to level two floor. And so my camera now is going to go up to the second floor. Everyone go back. All right. So I'm going to place another camera here and another camera here. Let me finish. Okay. Let me go ahead and see what I did. Find it in the project browser. Left one, rename it. Um, stairs. And let's see what I did. Okay, first things first. Uh, click on it. Take it right through. Okay, let me go to frame one. Uh, some shading with edges. I want to work back a bit. Okay. Next keyframe. 
time. Uh, let's uh, I'm gonna look there. Next key frame. Wow. Uh, okay, I'm not that accurate in terms of camera offset. You see, um, you want it to be like even better. Basically, the camera is your eye level. So I would have to be even further up. Underneath the stairs. So, next keyframe, okay. I'm still holding up. Still holding up. So, and I can like walking with your head looking up. Oh, I'm holding something that's kind like this. But. Okay, so go ahead and uh, measure the elevation of your stairs so to be more accurate. And I just want to end it looking at this cool picture or something. Uh, let me go ahead and play it and see what we got. I'm moving up the stairs. Yeah, it's like uh, doing a washing machine or something. So yeah, this. Okay, yeah, I didn't go over the stairs, but it's basically just really the point that you need to have a good camera offset to have a more realistic perspective of your movie. And I go back around and that's it. Uh, for those uh, bold enough to do rendering, uh, 